France's capital, Paris, has continued to be a significant city for roughly 2,000 years and has the power to mesmerize everybody who visits it. So, in case you are also planning a trip to this city of love, these are the top must-see sites. Number 10. Place de la Concorde Starting off the list, we have a magnificent octagonal square, which was designed in 1772 by King Louis XV's architect and served as the hub of 18th century Paris. Several significant historical occurrences, including the executions of Louis XVI, Marie Antoinette, and other guillotine victims, took place at the Place de la Concorde. It is one of the city's most appealing squares, and its magnificent proportions provide a breathtaking view of the city's attractions. With the Eiffel Tower visible in the distance, you can enjoy the Arc de Triomphe in one direction and the Louvre in the other. Number 9. Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris the Latin Quarter and Notre Dame are located next to each other, on the Ile de la Cité in the center of Paris. This magnificent medieval structure is a masterpiece of Gothic design. The massive building's intricate flying buttresses maintain structural stability, while the ornately decorated exterior stuns with its abundance of statues and gargoyles. Look closely at the Gallery of Kings on the ornately designed west facade above the doorway. From Childebert to Philippe Auguste, the French kings are depicted in rows of 28 finely carved figurines. Enter the sanctuary after appreciating the ornate gateway to enjoy the splendor of this enormous vaulted chamber. Magnificent stained glass windows provide illumination for the inside. The cathedral suffered significant damage due to a big fire in April 2019, when the 19th century spire and the medieval roof were destroyed. The damage scope is still being determined, and the inside is currently off-limits to the general public. Number 8. Louvre Museum Next up is the Louvre Museum, which tops the list of the most famous museums worldwide. It is housed in the Louvre Palace and can be recognized by the distinctive glass pyramid at its entrance. The Louvre is home to a collection of about 1 million antiquities, including some of the most admired works of art in history, including The Dying Slave by Michelangelo, and the Greek statue Venus of Milo, the lavish residences of Napoleon III, the antiquated code of Hammurabi, Egyptian artifacts and works of art by masters like Rembrandt and Rubens, are some of the other well-liked displays. Also here is the Mona Lisa or La Gioconda, painted by Leonardo da Vinci between 1503 and 1505. Number 7. Avenue des Champs-Élysées Before being groomed by André Le Notre in the 17th century, Paris's most famous avenue was an empty field of marshland. Parisian urban architect Baron Haussmann created elegant structures on the street a century later. The Rond-Point des Champs-Élysées serves as the crossroads that divides the Champs-Élysées into two halves. The Jardins des Champs-Élysées, a large park, and the Petit Palais Fine Arts Museum located on the lower side of the Champs-Élysées, which borders the Palace de la Concorde. The other end, which reaches the Arc de Triomphe, is surrounded by high-end stores, lodgings, eateries, cafes, and movie theaters. Parisians congregate in this busy location, which is quite popular among tourists. Number 6. Versailles Palace Versailles Palace is one of the biggest in the world, with more than 700 rooms, and offers an unparalleled picture of royal life when you visit. Known for its famous royal inhabitants from King Louis XIV to Marie Antoinette, the palace's opulently adorned chambers and priceless paintings are all quite enchanting. Here you could easily spend most of the day. Beautiful gardens with walking roots, statues, fountains, flowers, and trees are a treat for your eyes. Originally a royal hunting lodge, the massive building is extravagantly wealthy, elegant, and affluent. The royal apartments, the chapel, the hall of mirrors, the royal opera, and the museum of the history of France are all part of the ensemble, which is built in the architectural style of the 17th and 18th centuries. Number 5. Arc de Triomphe Napoleon ordered the construction of the enormous Arc de Triomphe in 1806 to commemorate his army's conquest throughout Europe, even though he was exiled and dead by the time it was finished 30 years later. It is among the most famous sites in Paris. Twelve important streets, including the western end of the Champs-Élysées, converge at a congested traffic roundabout that surrounds the Arc de Triomphe. Even if you can see it clearly from a distance, being near it will provide you with unmatched sights and experiences. The best time to view it is on the first Sunday of every month, often known as car-free Sundays when cars are prohibited and only pedestrians are allowed on Champs-Élysées. Purchase a ticket and ascend the steps to the observation deck for a 360-degree view of Paris for additional enjoyment. 
You can visit the perpetual flame at the monument's base to pay tribute to the unnamed French soldiers who died during World Wars I and II. Large areas of the monument are covered in intricate statuary and carvings showing scenes from Napoleon's wars. Number 4. Centre Pompidou The fourth arrondissement's Beaubourg neighborhood is home to the Centre Pompidou, a cultural center built in high-tech architecture. The Musée National des Arts Modernes, the largest museum of contemporary art in Europe, a massive public library, a bookstore, a theater, and a rooftop terrace are all located there. The bottom three floors of the structure are devoted to the library, while floors four and five house the museum's permanent collection of antiques. Large expositions are held on the top floors. Georges Pompidou, who served as president of France from 1969 to 1974, and was responsible for the building's commission, is honored by having the center bear his name. Number 3. Sacre Coeur Basilica You will be rewarded with the breathtaking sight of the Sacre Coeur Basilica if you make the arduous ascent or take a short trip on the railway of the 130-meter hill of Montmartre. The well-known structure, constructed between 1875 and 1914, is Paris's second most visited monument. Additionally, it occupies the city's highest point. To commemorate the 58,000 soldiers who lost their lives in the Commune and Franco-Prussian War, the French government commissioned the Sacre Coeur. It now represents the regaining of confidence following these horrific years of war. Each year, more than a million visitors come to the magnificent Basilica to take in its interior decorations in Romanesque and Byzantine styles after ascending the 300 steps to the dome. Number 2. Luxembourg Garden Second last is the Luxembourg Garden, which is also the most well-liked park in the area due to its tall chestnut trees, the large pool where kids can ride toy sailboats, and several benches where visitors can lounge among the lush vegetation and magnificent statues. This makes it stand out among the other 448 other parks in Paris and two forests to pick from. The 60 acres of Luxembourg Garden are separated into numerous diverse regions, so despite the volume of tourists, it rarely feels congested, and a meal or drink in the outdoor cafe is more than enjoyable. Number 1. Eiffel Tower And at number 1, well, you guessed it, we have the Eiffel Tower which rises over the Parisian landscape, is an icon of Paris, and offers breathtaking city views from its three levels. Going to the top of the Eiffel Tower is often at the top of travelers' lists of must-see attractions in Paris, and obviously for a good reason. Nothing compares to the exhilaration of climbing the observation decks and watching the Parisian scenery below get smaller and smaller. You can also view the popular attraction from numerous other locations throughout the city. When the Eiffel Tower is crowded, waiting in line to buy tickets can take up to four hours or longer. However, if you make travel arrangements ahead of time, you can skip the regular line. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this one. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.